Security is a very huge aspect when it's come to API development. So in this video, the function we're going to build is called rate limit. You don't allow user to make too many requests on your API and that will give unnecessary load on the API on the server. So you have to set a particular limit for the particular IP address. So this much request they can make in your API and that's what we're going to set right now in this video. So this is where we left in the last video. We have built this cookie system. So hope you have watched that. So let's split the terminal and we're going to install a package. And the package we want is npm express call rate limit. So this is the package we're going to install and this will allow us to set the rate limit that how many requests a single API, a simple IP, IP can make on, a, on your API. So let's install that package. And here we have successfully installed the package. Now close this one, bring the terminal down. And here we have Come back to the config file close this one config file we don't need that come back to the app.js and we are building this function in our app.js because this is a global page like every single function we have defined is going to run in every single time whenever any request will come in our api so this is the best place to write the rate limit functionality so this looks good let's first we have to import the package so we need to take that package let's come up here and let's get the package so we'll call it rate limit and required and we'll call it required express rate limit this is the name i have provided rate limit and this is the exact name which i have got in the documentation so i'm just following the documentation so this is the variable rate limit we have save it no more problem we have here now we're going to define it here so let's call this global middleware because all of these middlewares are a global middlewares let's define our rate limit so we'll take a variable we'll call limit limiter and in that we're going to call this rate limit and, and in that we have to pass the object and that object is the limit so the maximum number you want the user to allow request on the api and i'm going with this number 100 it doesn't mean that you have to provide the same number if you if you if your application is really big and a lot of users are coming on your applications and that scenario obviously going to increase this limit because you want to you want the user to have make a multiple request i'm allowing is 100 you can increase 2000, 2000 is still up to you. And here I'm going to say window, MS, and here I have to provide the date. So like in one hour, they can make only 100 requests. So this is the, and we have to send this error message back to the client. If they exceed the limit, please try again in an hour. So this is the late limit. And here we have to simply call that as a middleware. So in that we're going to simply pass the api and we're going to pass this limiter and the reason why we have provided this slash api because we want to apply this in every single route so you can target a specific route for example if you have a secret route and you want to add a limit on that route that you want to provide one-time access of a resource in a particular api so you can take this approach okay so but here i'm saying that in every single route in every single resources i want to apply this limit and that's pretty cool hope this entire thing makes sense so this is our rate limit and now it will be working fine so now it's time to test it out so let's come here we can go back to the get resources because here we have all the resources and now if i come here if i try to make a request you will see i get all this data but along with the data i'm getting something in the header so click on the header and here you will find that we got all of these data and we have this remaining we have this remaining we have the date we have the reset timing after how long it will be reset and all the bunch of data we have in this looks fine to me so you can send multiple data if you come back into the other resources like get user and if you make a request you will find that if you go to the header you will find that right now you have 98 requests left so it's working fine no matter how many requests you will make and what resources you will make every single request will count 97 so here we are back and just simply refresh the moment you will save it will refresh the entire api and if you come back to the postman and if you make a request it will refresh everything so you can see right now we have 99 so whenever you refresh your api that will reset every single header and that's 99 so that's the thing you have to keep in mind looks pretty good to me if you hit request it will keep down the data will also come and now what i want is let's decrease this to two 
to check whether the error message is coming or not. So what I can do here, let's send a request. This is one request. This is the cookie and this is one more we have. Click on this body, click on this and we have one more click on this and here we got the error message. Too many requests from this IP, please try again in an hour. So the rate limits is working fine. And here we have this response, the HTTP response code. That looks pretty awesome. Everything is working fine. So hope these things are making sense to all of you guys. Still have any confusion? Try to understand that how we are doing it. And this package is really powerful. And that's the only thing I want to cover in this video that how you can set limits in your API. With that, let's move to the next video.